Have you ever wondered how YouTubers become so successful? I saw this video and I saw the traction that he was getting and in this video we'll learn what it's like for a beginner on the YouTube journey on how to stay motivated. I was looking at one of Brandon Carter's old videos and I was seeing he put bloopers in the videos. But I would think that these YouTubers, they're perfect in everything that they do, but they do make mistakes and they get edited out. You get better over time. Some of Jeremy's points were when you work hard on a video and it doesn't meet his expectations. I recall a channel making money with Matt saying that a channel needs about 30 to 60 videos on his channel before it starts getting traction. And with each video, you would get better over time you will learn how to make certain tweaks or what certain videos are popular at the time. Sometimes it takes time to learn and grow and the marketplace, it can tell you if you're doing the right things or the wrong things. Sometimes it's more trial and error. Another YouTuber said getting monetized on YouTube was harder than taking the law bar exam. Many major problems was looking at the destination that's my major problem is I'm looking at retirement versus trying to enjoy the day to day. Try to learn how to enjoy the day to day, all of the successes, the blesses that you have, beautiful weather, the sun is out. Implement the leading indicators so the success is the only path. It's not a matter of if, but when. And sometimes I notice for me, when I was seeking validation from externals, it could be a false perception of what really is, I could be chasing the rabbit down the hole and it wouldn't necessarily be the correct path. Everything comes inside of you. What do you want? Why do you want it? For example, Toastmasters was a tool for me to learn public speaking, but after a few months, I learned that it was a way for me to speak to myself. When I make mistakes, I could be very harsh and critical. I learned this from my father growing up and it's something that I'm trying to change. I was trying to speak like the other people in the group and Toastmasters and I learned that I needed to develop my own speaking style. I needed to be me and not someone else. In martial arts, you take what is useful and you leave what isn't. Bruce Lee is one of my role models. As long as you try and you learn from these experiences, this can be seen as a success. And 15 views is better than no views. Maybe you help those 15 people out. I was thinking it's better to have 15 great friends, brothers, versus 15,000 superficial people. Imagine if you save these 15 people from deleting and dating. If you approached 100 different people and you got 10 contacts, you dated 5 to 10 of them, would you see it as a success or a failure? Everybody goes through these sorts of rejections or setbacks. Well, put your heart out there and without any expectation, see where it goes, see who's attracted to you. Things get better over time. If you're baking bread, you wouldn't necessarily take it out before it's done. These are challenges that he had. You have to do everything yourself. And it's interesting because all of the other creators, they're outsourcing different tasks to different people. And that's why their content can be seen as way better. But if you're just starting out, you do the best that you can at the time. When you see a successful video, the creator could seem perfect. There are many pieces that go into the video, such as ideas, scripts, thumbnails, video editing, research, timing, outsourcing, communication, delivery, packaging, and experiences. I took a couple different courses to try and learn the game, and it's a lot. Even if you try to follow every single step and practice, it takes time to learn, and to get better at it. I remember seeing other channels and I wanted to build out all of their videos that they had, but these things, they would be done over time. One video a day, try it out. Quality over quantity. Everyone has a different past and unfair advantages. For example, you speak English, you're young, I'm assuming you have time. The acquisition matrix is if you spend one hour a day, it would take you three months to get the basics down, but if you've spent four hours a day, it'd take you less than a month to get the basics down. Just put in the reps and over time, you'll see these small wins. If you're a white belt, you can't imagine yourself as a black belt on that day, but 10 years later, you could do it. 
A black belt is a white belt that never quits. Show up every day, put in the work, have vision of where you want to go, have understanding, know that you're worthy and you have opportunities to grow and to be whoever you want. You lack access. You don't have a, I don't have a camera right now. I'm using my Mac camera. Why did I buy this Mac? Because I wanted to solve this problem and to move on to the next one. That's why I bought this specific spec. I'm still using my phone and my laptop and I will be getting these different kinds of pieces over time. You buy something, you see if it works. If it doesn't, you can buy something else. You're evaluating what you're doing. When you're evaluating yourself, you'll want to self-improve. There's so many products that you could check out, such as the best vlogging camera for beginners. He had a gimbal with a camera on it and it came with Bluetooth mics. So I'll probably look into buying that later on. Social proof was another challenge that he had. I don't have a big following, but over time, maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't. Whatever happens, I'll, I'll accept it. As long as I'm learning and growing, that's a major, that's the whole point of this experience for me. It's not necessarily to get external validations or make money, although those are things that I would like. Experiences, this is a great opportunity to learn and to express yourself. Emotions, sometimes you can create a great product, but other people may not see it that way. This can be discouraging, but your value is not a direct reflection of your value. For example, a water bottle. How much would a water bottle cost a dollar? If you went to the airport, it will cost five to ten dollars. What if you were in a desert and you were dying of thirst? You would pay a lot of money for that bottle of water. In sales, timing can be key. Just put yourself out there, see how it goes. Why do I want to create a YouTube channel? I want to create solutions for my current problems. In these videos, I could possibly help other people. And these are tools that other people can use over time. You can reach more people, a wider audience. I have never been the most popular person or the most articulate person, but that doesn't mean that I can't achieve these things later on in life. Sometimes what you expect, you may not receive it, and it depends on what the metric is. And maybe I can collaborate with you. Maybe I can see what you're doing and see if it works for me. It's been said that your net work can be your net worth. I challenge you all to create a video. It's kind of reminds me of an online journal. And I hope that you can appreciate these kinds of things from yourself to see your strengths and weaknesses. You're worth the work. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any ideas, comments for me, I would love to learn from you. I hope you have a good day.